Hello everyone, this is a ST Sun Guzin Dan review, and this time it's a Shin Soresu Tide Ruho Ruby Gundam, or as we will know, it's the Emperor form of the uh, TV version of the Ruby Gundam, which means that it also includes the Rukiho, which is the, um, the Dragon 2 armor, and Takiro, Ruby's uh, favorite horse. So this is a big set, and let's just have a look at the box. As you can see, you can get you get Rikiho, you get all of the basic armor for the uh, Ruho Ruby Gundam, and combine them together, you form the uh, Emperor form of Ruby Gundam. And Takiro here can be mounted normally, but he can also combine with Rikiho to form the well bigger dragon version of Rikiho. One thing that is special about um, this version of um, of Emperor from Ruby Gundam is that um, all of Ruby, Ruby Hole can actually combine onto um, onto Ruby, while the uh, previous version, the um, standard uh, the standard SC Gundam version, not the Shin version, couldn't really do that. He can only use some of the armor; the rest of them just uh, yeah, left over. Uh, assembly instruction is much bigger because of that. So you have two page as normal, four page. So you have the SD art, the weapon, where he came from, all of the form of Rukiho and um, or an Emperor form Ruby Gundam. Then you have the other side, a four page uh, comic of effectively the final scene of um, of the anime. Then we come to the assembly, instru assembly instruction. So it's that much. More often. And then when you're done with all of those, here's the color side for uh, more of the combination and transformation. Yes, it's very big and the camera doesn't fit any of them. So that's basically it for the assembly instruction. Okay, so first of all we have the standard Ruby Gundam unpainted. And as you can see, he is exactly like the standard Ruby Gundam, including the fact that um, he lost one of his uh, default saber and is replaced with the uh, with the uh, Dragon Emperor sword, the Ru Taikan. This is the uh, sealed form which means that it's not weakened yet. So he's exactly the same as that one, down to, except for one bit, and that is this little slit on the crouch. That is so that he can use the uh, Emperor form armor. So yeah, not much to talk about him. His articulation is standard, and the two swords can be used. His uh, special attack, the Rusen, the Rusen Chan, which is... Um, the Dragon Star Slash is done by that. That's it. Yeah, that's why I didn't get the original Ruby Gundam. It isn't worth it. So we move on to Takiro. Takiro the horse is the is a special version of the horse. He's I think he's marginally bigger than the standard. Send the horse. He's molded almost completely in white, except for the hoof, which are in black, and two bit of red flame. The special thing about him is that he got an extra plate up here, which uh, serves not much purpose other than having a second SD Gundam standing on the back. Um, he has some head articulation, bit of neck articulation. His front leg and back leg. Uh, on board joints and has enough room for them to actually spread out a little bit and they can go forward and backward pretty well as well. The back leg almost have no restraint except for this bit and as usual they all have knee and the hoof actually does move a bit so they can help him balance. So not much about him, he's a lot, he is pretty, pretty decent bit of armor on the front, quite a bit of detail and he will probably look quite good with uh, stickers on or pre-painted. 
So let's start off the emperor part of this with Riki Ho. Riki Ho here is com almost completely made in um, chrome, gold chrome plastic. Almost everything, except for this black uh, piece, which becomes the backpack for the emperor form, which is a bit standing out and not that nice. And the armor, which has to be blue because it's part of the color scheme, so that's forgivable. And a lot of clear, clear green parts as well. All of them are gems. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six on one side. Six more on the other side, which means that twelve. Plus one more on the uh, chest armor, which makes thirteen. So thirteen green, uh, green clear piece. And then the wing. Also got a extra clear yellow piece on each side. So if you like special plastic part, things like clear plastic and chrome, you'll like this kit a lot. So articulation, there is a uh, two ball joint here, which means that they can swivel around. Uh, the legs does move. There is a little bit of bend. Um, on some of the joints, things like this one here, the tail does move up and down as well. This bit also move a little bit by itself as well. And because um this piece is exactly the same as this piece, which means that this one can move a bit as well. The feet, front paw can also move as well. The head can move, and the mouth can open and close. So it's pretty nice. The only problem I have with this thing is that um, you can't actually mount it flying because there's no base. They never give you a stand to actually mount it anywhere. I guess you can actually use um, you can use an action base and then use um, a bit of a V clip uh, U clip to actually clip on the center pit center bits to actually hold it in, in mid air. So that's it for Ruku hole. Okay. Now let's talk about Riku Ho combined with Ruby to form the Emperor form Ruby Gundam. But before we can do that, there is several pieces of extra parts that need to be introduced. And let's move Riku Ho aside first, and here we are. So we have a new head crest. So let's move those away. Let's move the brand new head crest on it, very cool. Uh, there is some extra leg part, oh no, wait, wait, wait. Leg part first. The leg, we have a new leg here. Uh, the old one is a bit, a bit fit, a bit uh, skinny. We have a bigger one, which is much more armor. So we have that, and we also have a new uh, feet, which go on top of the existing one. So put it in, and then put a cap in the front. So we have a brand new blue feet. It doesn't actually increase the height that much, by the way. It just makes him look cool, basically. Okay, now parts that we don't need. We don't need the chest armor. We don't need the shoulder armor. But we keep uh, the, the drape armor on the shoulder. And on the back, we don't need the two old boring swords anymore. So we have what we have left now with one sword and yeah, two more extra swords as well. We'll talk about that later. So.
and give him a sword as well. But the way this sword is uh, different to the uh, Awakened uh, Dragon Emperor sword, which is this one. Uh, one is much bigger, two, uh, all of the dragon detail has been removed from the actual blade itself, and has instead they have two um, clear dragon parts on the surface that was actually uh, clipped on. So clip on one on each side. They're packed together as well, so they're pretty secure. So as you can see, he looks beautiful basically. You know what? It's easier to use uh, to do it this way. Now he's shiny all over with uh, with at least three of the gem actually visible. The other two is actually hidden in the back. The clear the clear effect part on the wings looks beautiful. Unfortunately, articulation is actually slightly hindered because of all the armors. But to be honest, do you really care? These are user display piece anyway. So this is the uh, standard uh, emperor form. But uh, as we said before, he can actually mount all of the armor onto him. So what we have here is uh, the front and the back, each actually composed of a body and a leg part. So you can actually take them apart. And you effectively have two pairs of uh, extra shoulder armor. So they can mount on as uh, the leg as a shoulder armor or the torso as a tail like shoulder armor. And when they are not in use, they, you can actually plug something like each of these uh, joint pieces onto them. So you plug it back on. So despite how big it is, it does mean that now Ruby has uh, all of the uh, Ricky Hole armor on him. And these two tail piece, well I'm going to call them tail for now on, now become stabilizer so he, he will not fall over. As you can see here. No matter what you do, because there's now two extra legs behind him. So yep, he is big, clunky, and he's golden. He's shiny, and he will stand out on your shelf no matter how you look at it. Either you look at it from the front or from the back. So Takiru here. You can put uh, Ruby on Takiru even in this form. It's just going to be a game of balancing. But uh, I'm not going to do that. There is, uh, as we said on the assembly instruction, Taku can combine with Ruki Ho to form a much longer dragon. And we will talk about that one once we have the whole kit painted. So join me in a few seconds.